welcome back everybody in this video i will discuss how to create the user repository in the user repository i will create the functionalities which is related to user like fetching the user details saving the user details change password forward password all all those kind of stuffs i will create inside the user repository right now in the previous video i have created this get user details api which is taking the role id and the user id parameter and based on that it has generated this kind of output okay now based on this json output i will create the user model and to create the user model here i have used quick type.io site here i have pasted the json response and based on that json response it has created the user model the same user model i have used inside the, this models folder here i have created this user model.dart file and here i have used this user model class fine now inside this provider folder i have created my api provider now in this my api provider you can see here i have used dio package to connect with the rest api in the base url i have specified the base url and after that i have specified these parameters then in the constructor of the my api provider i have used dio interceptor okay and after that here i have created a get user details function which is taking role id and user id as a parameter and after that here i have used the get method of dio package where i am calling this get user details function and i am passing this role id and user id to the role id and user id parameter and here i have used user model from json which is present inside the user model class and to this function i am passing the response now if any kind of error occurs then this dio error block this particular block will execute in this block what i have done i have called dio exception dot from error now this dio exception is actually another class here you can see in the provider i have created another file dio exception dot dart this is another class which implements exception and here i have declared a variable string error message then i have created this function from dio error which is taking dio error and based on the error type if it is cancel then this will be the message that that means that will be the value of error message similarly for connection timeout this will be the message and similarly i have checked too many error types and based on that i have provided the error messages now here you can see one more thing that in this particular case dir type dot response here i have called handle status code which is taking the status code and this function i have created here which is taking different status codes and based on the status codes it is returning different different kind of messages fine so this is all about your dio exception dot dart so if any error occurs then to that particular dio exception dot from error i am passing the error which is cached here fine and if any exception occurs then in the cache block i have returned future dot error exception dot to string okay now in this repository folder here i have created a user repository dot dart file here i have created a class named as user repository which is taking my api provider and in the constructor of the user repository i have passed this dot my api provider and here i have created a function get user details which is taking the role id and user id fine so whenever i will call the get user details function of the user repository it will actually call the get user details method which i have created inside the my api provider and you can see that this get user details method is actually returning future of user model and the same thing i have done here whenever this function will be called that is get user details it actually returns future of user model this is how i have created the user repository now i will use this user repository to provide any kind of functionalities which is related to user that's it for today's video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching